And exclusive new details tonight about possibly dangerous criminals being allowed to walk out of jail even if they're considered a threat to the community. That was nearly the case with these two sisters accused of beating three-year-old Kaywan Mason to death with a baseball bat all over a cupcake. Just two days ago, LaShirley and Glendria Morris walked right out of jail on, could have walked out of jail on bond. How? Because the DA's office missed a crucial 90-day deadline to indict them and keep them behind bars. So that got us to thinking, how often does this occur? Faith Abube did some digging and found out this is not an isolated incident. Faith, why does this keep happening? You know, Vinny, the DA's office calls this unfortunate. And for people like you and me in the community to hear this, it's unsettling. And for the victims of crimes these suspects are accused of, this is just basically injustice. The Fulton County DA's office tells us they're overwhelmed by the sheer number of cases coming through their offices. So that means right now, three out of 10 cases are not making critical deadlines, allowing suspects to walk out on bond. A spokesperson tells us there are four major reasons they're missing the 90-day deadline to indict suspects. A spokesperson tells us there are four major reasons they're missing the 90-day deadline to indict suspects. They say the number of homicides in Atlanta are just too high, three times higher per population than that of New York City and six times higher than in L.A. They also tell us the cases are very complex because of gang activity. They also don't have enough time because of lengthy police investigations. And the big one, a lack of staff in the DA's office to handle the volume of cases coming through. You know, Faith, every government agency is always asking for more staff. Is the DA's office giving us any specifics here? So right now they're telling us they need 225 attorneys on staff for them to have a full staff. But the budget they have only allows for 103 attorneys, which means their workload is very heavy. They tell me they keep asking local governments for more funding. But so far, they just keep getting denied over and over again, Vinny. All right, Faith, there's got to be some sort of solution to this. Have they figured anything out? One thing they're thinking about right now is the opportunity that's come up with a new mayor in office here in Atlanta. They're hoping with fresh new eyes they can go forward, talk to Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms, lay out all the problems for her to see, and she'll be able to help them fix the problem. So, so far, that's what they're hanging their hats on. We're hoping this gets fixed really quickly because this is such a big problem. Yeah, bottom line, though, until then, victims of some of these horrific crimes have to deal with knowing there's a 3 in 10 chance of them walking out of bond, even if they shouldn't. Thanks so much, Faith.